Hello, my name is Randy, and you're watching The Cheap Audio Man. Welcome. Here at The Cheap Audio Man, we help folks find high-value hi-fi, home theater, and headphone equipment, and today we're talking all about vinyl. The experience, the sound, the lifestyle. So grab a cup of coffee, sit down, and let's talk about some vinyl! Vinyl. So when I was getting ready for the Christmas program awards, I was researching some jokes about hi-fi. And one of the jokes was, I listen to vinyl because of the expense and the inconvenience. I got a kick out of that. Because I never was really into vinyl. When I was a kid, we had vinyl. And that was out of necessity, really, than anything else. I wanted cassettes and later on, CDs especially. But I had little, one of those little clamshell plastic record players and I had to put a, a quarter on top of the head or the needle so that it wouldn't skip around. And I had a little uh, single, the uh, Locomotion, the Grand Funk Railroad. I listened to it all the time, but I didn't want to. I wanted to listen to cassettes like Marty McFly when he was rolling around listening to Huey Lewis and the News and Van Halen and making, making his poor father scream in agony as he blasted some Van Halen through his head with his Walkman. I didn't want to listen to records. I thought they were for old people. I didn't think they sounded very good. I wanted cassettes. I really wanted CDs. So it wasn't until a few years ago that I even considered getting into vinyl. I don't know why. I guess I decided I needed to spend more money and rebuy music that I already owned on CD and I could stream whenever I wanted to. But Everybody was talking about it, and guess what? It was something else I could spend my money on and something else I could research, and that's what I like to do. Research stuff and then spend money on it. So I got one. It sounded pretty good. I liked it. It was the uh, Fluence RT-83. It has an Ortofon red cartridge. I did some research. I started experimenting with different phono preamps and cartridges and enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Now, when I was comparing it from a fidelity standpoint to streaming or anything else, it fell short. But I was I was falling short because I didn't understand that the cartridges, the phono preamp, the turntable itself, the record all make a significant difference in how it sounds because this I was excited to get. Guess what? It doesn't sound very good. ACDC back in black, whatever pressing this is, does not sound good. It sounds Here's one for you. Sounds compressed. Just sounds flat. Doesn't sound good. But other records like the remastered and Justice for All by Metallica on exclusive green available at your local Walmart sounds fantastic. Very dynamic. Very fun. Punchy. Sparkly. Awesome. And when I was listening to the Fluence RT85 with the Ortofon Blue cartridge running through the iFi Zen Phono I was in heaven. I, if I was blindfolded, I would not have been able to tell the difference between high-res music going through a decent DAC going into my system or my turntable. It's that good. I listen to music every day for multiple hours a day. It's not always on vinyl. Frankly, it's rarely on vinyl. But when I get an opportunity to listen for my pleasure, to hang out or to put some music on in the background while I'm doing something else, I always choose vinyl. I enjoy the ritual of it. I enjoy getting the record, taking it out, being very careful, taking it out of the nice little sleeve, putting it on there, turning on the record player, taking out my little brushy brushy thing and holding it on there, putting the needle ever so softly onto the top of the vinyl, turning it on, putting down the dust cover, hearing that pops and crackles. I like the ritual of it. I enjoy it. It connects me with my music. I enjoy touching my music. I don't know why. I just do. These are cool too. Heck, you can hang them on the wall. Rush. This is another record that sounds like complete garbage. Usually with tone controls, I can get a record sounding good. But not this one. This is white. People will probably say, oh, the colored vinyl sounds like garbage. You know what? I may agree if I was only talking about Rush. But the green Metallica one, 
Sounds awesome. So for me, it's the ritual. For me, it's connection to the music. Yes, it's about fidelity because with cartridges and frankly, the Ortofon Red's okay. The Ortofon Blue is awesome. iFi Zen Phono, great. Schkit Manny, great. But one of the things that I do is I have a bunch of vintage receivers. I just pipe these things right into my realistic STA 2500. It's a little vintage piece that I like from 1983 or 1984. It has two phono inputs and a built-in phono stage and mid-range controls and a loudness button. And there hasn't been a record, well, most, there almost hasn't been a record that I can't play through that old realistic with mid-range controls and a loudness button that I can't get sounding good. I also enjoy playing vinyl on my modern systems. Point being is there is something about the connection to the music that I love. It forces me to listen to the record in its entirety, unless it's like a greatest hits or whatever. But I like that. I like to listen to tracks in order that the artist or their producer, whatever it is, somebody agreed on, hey, I want these tracks in this order on this record. I like not being able to hit random or playing a playlist. It's like delayed gratification a bit. And for me, that connects me closer to the music. The expense and the inconvenience. It's expensive. Records, and if you can find them, $25 is not unreasonable for a record. So they're expensive. You buy 20 records, that's $500. Add on $300 to $400 for a turntable, a decent phono stage for 200 bucks, and you're over a grand. You can put together a very nice system with that. Really nice DAC, even a streamer. So you've got to want this. And yes, it's expensive. Yes, it's inconvenient, especially if you don't have an automatic turntable or if it doesn't stop at the end of the turntable, you fall asleep or whatever and forever. But at the end of the day, vinyl, record players, connect me to the music emotionally, sonically, and physically. And I like that. It makes me know that I'm there just to enjoy the music. And so for me and my vinyl, we're gonna stick together for a while. Also, sounds like garbage. It's on Fancy Pantsy Special Vinyl, too. I'm not going to get it out. Doesn't sound very good. Not all records sound great. But with a little tone controls, a little patience. <laughs> patience, get it? You can get your records sounding good, too, on just about anything. So, if you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon. Patreon.com slash Cheap Man. Every Sunday night, we have patron-only Zooms. We also have a patron-only Facebook group. You can also sign up for Amazon Music. There's a link in the description. Click on the link, sign up. You get a few months for free. I get a couple of dollars. You can also buy a turntable. I'll link a few in the description. This is a U-Turn. I don't have an affiliate relationship with U-Turn, but they make good tables. And they're inexpensive. Also, link some Fluence tables, some phono preamps. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Binge listen through some vinyl. Connect physically, emotionally, sonically to your music and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man.